Firstly, I want to thank uh, thank you for uh, uh, accepting my invitation and accepting to talk with me. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me on. So, I thought to I thought to introduce you to my audience. Okay. Um well, my writing name is D Elizabeth Ayers. Most of the people in the Twitter community might know me as Deb and that's fine. <laughs> um I'm an American author. Uh, and I write paranormal romance, urban fantasy, and historical romance, although I only have one book published at the moment. <laughs> okay. So I'm hearing this for the first time. What is paranormal uh, romance? Paranormal romance. I know, that's a good question, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a romance story, but there has to be an element of something paranormal. So in my case, it's uh, ghosts. Uh, but I think some people write about vampires and werewolves. Um, but uh, my first novel was kind of my attempt at telling a ghost story. Um, and uh, yeah, I love writing romance. So everything that I write has a romantic element to it. <laughs> Okay, so you 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 write uh, uh, fictional books or uh, uh, the real stories? Yeah, just fiction. Um, I haven't thought of anything nonfiction to write yet. So, and I I actually prefer to write fiction. It's just more fun. <laughs> okay, so what is the name of the book uh, that you have published? Um, the name of the book I have published right now is This Pale Mortal Shell. And I'll hold it up so we can see it. <laughs> um, and uh, it's available on Amazon. Um, I mean, you could buy it through me, I guess, in, in print alone if you wanted to, but that would be more expensive. It's cheaper on Amazon. <laughs> um, yeah, and I have other books in the works, but that's the first one that I've published. What is this book uh, is about? Well, um, it, it's about a um, rock star who leaves a will stating that his wife and his half-brother, if they want to inherit their parts of his estate after his death, they have to live together in his childhood home where his half-brother currently lives. They have to live together for three months. And nobody really understands why he set up his will that way. But, you know, she needs the money and and his half-brother wants to keep the house that he's been living in. So they agree to this. And then um, the rock star named Tristan Thorne, his ghost begins appearing in the cottage. And everything goes crazy from there. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much, but... Um, he's sort of there in the cottage with them and all kinds of crazy things start happening. But of course, people will fall in love and uh, I hope I hope the audience will also fall in love with the book too. <laughs> so the narration starts uh, when uh, the guy uh, will die. Yes, the opening scene. In fact, um, if you want to read a sample of it, the opening scene is on my webpage, dealizabethairs.com. And it opens, yeah, with the rock star getting into a terrible car wreck and dying. Okay. Um, and then we move on with the characters. I, I, tried, I tried to start with something exciting. <laughs> this, this looks, uh, uh, this, uh, this sounds uh, interesting. Well, I hope it is. I hope it is. I, I really wanted to... Um, I really wanted to try to do something to grab the reader's attention at the beginning and, you know, make them wonder what's going on with this guy. Um, I, I think the, the one thing that maybe I worry about sometimes is people think that Tristan is the hero of the story, but he's not. He is really uh, more, of a, more of a catalyst and, and maybe more of a bad guy in some ways. But I hope he's a lovable bad guy. <laughs> okay. So what made you to write about uh, uh, this genre? Um, well, I've always been really interested in um, magical things and um, ghosts and witches and 
uh, fairies and stuff. And um, I was, uh, actually, I started this book a long time ago. I was in England um, back in 2003, and I had been thinking about writing a ghost story. And um, I was in Bath, and I just... I don't know. It just, this sort of idea came to me. Um, it started actually with the character of the rock star and it sort of grew from there. And I wanted to, I wanted to write something that also had to do with um, really trying to live in the moment and cherish the life that you have. And so this sort of seed of an idea that came to me uh, in England grew from there. And that's why I set the book in England, even though I'm American, so. <laughs> nice. So what are, what are the other genres that you said that you wanted to write in coming days? Yes, um, I am working on an urban fantasy series. Um, and urban fantasy is, is just fantasy that takes place in, you know, current times with, real live situations, but there's also, again, kind of a fantasy element. Uh, there's an alternate world existing next to our world is what urban fantasy is. And um, I'm writing about Selkies. I don't know if you know what a Selkie is. I'm happy to tell you. I know a lot of people don't know. Um, a Selkie is a seal that can take off its skin and turn into a human. And uh, they can interact with other humans and talk to them. They're an old Scottish legend. And um, my heritage, my my grandfather was Scottish. So that was sort of the beginning of that idea. And I, um, I loved reading tales about Selkies. I thought they were pretty cool creatures. So I was like, okay, I could write my own book about this. And then it the idea has grown and turned into a series in my mind. Um, I'm hoping to release the first book uh, early next year. So what is what is the response that you got for the expressions that you, uh, 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 for the expressions uh, of, uh, through, your, through your first book? Um, so far, um, I, I, I have gotten really positive responses, you know. Um, I think, uh, Every author is going to get a bad review here and there, but that's okay too. <laughs> um, but so far, people have had a really positive response to it. Um, I've even gotten people who don't normally read romance to read it, which is exciting. <laughs> um, I know a, a lot of people don't like to read romance. They feel uncomfortable with some of the things that go on, but... It's nice to have people read it and still like it, you know, and find the characters fun. So do you have uh, uh, inspiration? Um, like one single inspiration or... Um, For writing. Um, like, do you think, like, are you, do you want to know, like, how I started writing or is yeah, it... Who inspired you to uh, begin writing? Mm. Well, I um, I used to be an actor a long time ago, uh, and I I didn't think I was a writer at all. But I I always wrote a lot about the characters I was playing, and so I think that my inspiration for writing really started with building characters, um, and then I did start having sort of inspirations to uh, to expand these characters and come up with my own stories, you know. Um, I mean, but if you think, if you're asking about like what writers really inspire me, um, oh boy, there's so many. Um, I always loved Stephen King, even though I don't write horror. I, I always loved his work uh, because he, he always created characters that I either loved or hated. You know, there was no in between. Um, I love a lot of uh, romance authors. Uh, Cheryl and Kenyon is a is a paranormal romance writer that I really like as well. So you have already published a book, and uh, uh, which country people will be connecting with that story? Well, um, I'm I know you can buy it in uh, obviously in the U.S. and um, any country that Amazon sells to, you can buy the book. Um, I know it's available in India because somebody somebody bought it in India. One person bought it in India. 
I don't know who it was, but somebody did. <laughs> but after this video, uh, many people will uh, uh, buy your book for oh, sure. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of followers, don't you? I'll call you back. Okay. So, yeah, I, my question was, uh, which country people will, will connect with uh, this story? Is this connected with a particular uh, part of uh, uh, w part of the world? The story is connected with a particular part of the world or uh, any any human having, uh, you know, having uh, the same emotions will connect with the book? Um, I, I, I don't feel that this book is very political. I think the people who would enjoy this book and connect with the characters most would be people who um, maybe aren't really living their life to the fullest and and they really take everything around them for granted. You know, they're always maybe uh, thinking about something else, particularly the past. Um, two, the two main characters are very trapped in their past. They can't seem to live now. Um, or even for the future, um, because they're just worried about their regrets too much. And um, the bad guy, in a way, helps them stop seeing life that way. And so I hope that people who are um, either kind of trapped in their past or are trying to break free and move toward the future, I hope that this book really resonates with them and, and helps them I don't know, either continue on their path or helps them break free. Nice. So are you a, uh, are you a full-time writer? Well, I don't make my living at it. Uh, I, I hope to one day, uh, but I'm also an ESL teacher. So I teach uh, adults, English people who come to my city um, or, you know, online sometimes too. Um, but I, I hope to make a living at it one day. We'll see. <laughs> so can I say that, uh, the, the teaching skills that you have made you to become a writer? I think it helps. Um, and I definitely find that the, the things that my students teach me, uh, inform my writing in many ways, I think. Uh, so yeah, I believe that teaching and writing are, you know, really good companion jobs <laughs> both are in in both the ways you are expressing exactly exactly and and i i you know i know a lot about how to word things because of being an english teacher has really helped in that respect <laughs> so are you good in uh, narrating um i i am hoping to start narrating my own books uh, working on kind of building a studio space in my apartment right now, uh, because I do have the theater background. I did a lot of acting, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm working on that aspect. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm just trying to find a place cause I live in a big city, so there's lots of street noise. So I have to kind of block off the sound in a corner of my house <laughs> uh but yeah i hope to at least be narrating my own books soon and if anybody else were interested i suppose sure yeah i would do the work <laughs> so other than writing what do you do um like for fun or or for anything work? anything uh, in a day. <laughs> uh well i love listening to music and reading um, I have two cats. I love playing with them. Um, and I'm really into food, so I enjoy cooking as well. <laughs> so you, you observe a lot of, uh, uh, books, right? You read a lot of books. So mm -hmm. now you are writing, uh, you became author and uh, yeah. you already published the book and, uh, the second book is, uh, is ready and, uh, to come out. So... So you you became writer now. You you are publishing books and you are expressing uh, your your f fantasy stories and uh, your what your imagination is. So mm -hmm. how you are feeling now? Because you, before you were a reader, now you you became author. 
Um, and, it, and it's funny because I, I again, I, I think I, I mentioned this earlier. I, I never thought I would be a writer. Uh, finished a novel before I really admitted that I was a writer. Um, this is another novel that is not published, and I, I don't know that it ever will be. I, I'm not sure any writer publishes their first novel. <laughs> Um, I think it takes a couple of novels to to get it right. Uh, I feel really good about it, though. I'm really excited, and and I'm excited about uh, being involved in this uh, in the Twitter writing community because I feel like you know there's a lot of other people out there. We really, we really help each other uh, come up with ideas and um, you know and inspire each other and answer each other's silly questions and. <laughs> So it's fun. It's fun. I'm I'm really enjoying it. So at last, uh, there will be a lot of authors who are watching this video from all the parts of the world. So do you have anything to say to them? Um, you know, if you're feeling discouraged, just take a step back and breathe and keep moving forward. Uh, keep doing the work no matter what happens. Even if you... You know, even if you find there's a time when you can't work, you will come back to it. So keep trying is all I would say. Um, it, it doesn't always work the first time. So so keep work, keep working on it. Keep moving forward. That's what I would say. Do you have any tough situation that you have faced in your life and uh, you came out from that? Can you explain it? Um, well, I, I did actually. Um, I started writing many, many years ago and I was trying to get traditionally published and it was very hard and discouraging. I, I got a lot of requests for, oh, I want to read your book. And then they'd say, okay, rewrite your book. And then they'd say, okay, no. So, you know, I started getting really discouraged and, um, and then some things happened in my life. My father passed away. Um, you know, I had a big move that was sort of hard to take care of. And I, I did take, probably like a three-year break. Um, but then I, I couldn't stop thinking about all these other stories that were in my mind, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about this pale mortal shell. I, I really wanted to finish that book and, and, and clean it up and do it my way and not pay attention to, you know, what other people said. And that's why I became independently published, too, so that I could do things my way. I mean, it stopped. Oh, did it? Ah, at last you said uh, something that you have experience, you know, that will be motivation for the people who are, who are beginning, uh, mm -hmm. you know, who are, who are getting into this, who are getting into writing, who are, who, are, who wants to write, or, uh, you know, definitely they will get motivated from your words, from your experience. I hope so. I hope so. Did you need me to say any of that again? Because I know we got cut off there for a minute or. You, you can say if you want. Say it, say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I had a lot of hard times with uh, rejection um, from agents and, and having them ask me to do all this extra work on my manuscripts and still be rejected after rewriting manuscripts. So I did get very discouraged for a while and I, I took like a three year break, but it, it was always there in the back of my mind to come back to the stories and and in particular the the one that I ended up publishing first here I'll I'll shamelessly plug one more time <laughs> sure. um, and I couldn't stop thinking about the story and so after about 3 years I came back to it and and started working on it again and I hired somebody to to do my book cover um got some great beta readers to help me out and and here we are uh and i'm still working and writing every day so i hope that if anybody's out there feeling discouraged and feeling like they want to quit take a break if you want to but come back to it you know you'll you'll never regret it awesome nice line and that so I at last so. you yeah at last have, have you seen any previous videos of mine on youtube I did. I, I I saw a couple. I can't remember. There was a girl that you interviewed. Uh, I think she was from somewhere like Kentucky or West Virginia. I cannot remember her name. It was it was, it was initials. And I did see D.B. Carter's interview. Um, he's he's really active on Twitter. So I thought, oh, I'll watch that interview. 
Um, uh, yeah. So do you have anything to say about it? Oh, it was great. I, I like, um, I mean, you know, as soon as you asked me, I thought, well, I really better go check this guy out and see what his <laughs> interviews are like. And I really do enjoy watching your interviews. Um, and and you're, you're a very personable kind of guy. So I thought, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you for giving your valuable time to me and uh, telling about your book and about yourself and uh, telling some uh, 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 and motivating people, the beginners who, who is starting, uh, uh, who, who are getting into this, you know, that will be very, very helpful for them. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. And if anybody's out there wondering, you know, I'm on Twitter. You can always hit me up and ask me questions if you want to. I'll, I'll, put, uh, I'll put your book. Uh, Amazon book link uh, uh, in, in the description of this video. So the people who watch this video, uh, they, they can buy your book. Okay, great. And also I have a website. You can go over there and sign up for my my mailing list or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, I'll put uh, the website and the, and the book link in the, in the description of this video on YouTube. Okay, that would be great. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So can I put this video on my YouTube channel and uh, on internet, on uh, social media with your permission? Of course, of course, yes. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for giving your time again. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, take care. Uh -huh. You too, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.